Yeah, I know. It's just obviously you want you want it all to be done and perfect, and we're supposed to spend the night moving boxes, unpacking stuff, and then you expect me to walk upstairs with my gammy leg <laughs> and unpack everything, and it would just be perfect. Yeah, I, I know, I know, home. I know. But Fairy Tale of New York came on, and then next thing I know, it's the early hours of the morning, and I never want to drink spiced rum again. As you could probably tell, Mrs. Beard's a little bit mad, with good reason. Because if you watched the last few videos, we're in the middle of moving house. And I was supposed to help pack up some boxes, but I went out with some of my buds last night. Which is not a very common occurrence, but as you could probably tell by my voice, it went on a little bit too long. And uh, now I have a hangover. But you know what's a great cure for a hangover? That's right, fast food. And since we've got nowhere to film at the moment, we're between houses. I thought it'd be pretty fun to go on a little trip around some drive throughs and eat a bunch of food from all these new festive fast food menus that keep popping up. I don't make a fun, uh, fun little video. I don't have the energy to do the let's get it. Do you want to do it? Let's get it! That's actually pretty good. I think the festive menu this year looks just terrible. Whoa! Going for a <clears throat> I think we just get one of everything from the festive menu. No, let's go. Cool. We'll do it one by one. Hi! Yes, the reindeer treats, please. Big tasty with bacon. The chicken deluxe cheese melt dippers, please. With the tangy tomato dip. The, what's the festive what's McFlurry? What's the festive McFlurry this year? Uh, it's mint matchmakers. Well, let's Ooh, get that. Yeah, can I have uh, one of them as well, please? Yep. And you want. Can anything I have uh, yeah a fish finger Happy Meal, please? Yeah, anything else? Uh, no, that's everything. Thank you. Perfect, and thank you. Thank you. Are you going for an Academy Award this year or something? You're laying it on <laughs> thick, man. You're hamming it up like Gary Oldman or something. All right, so we're starting off with uh, McDonald's. Pretty much the entire, <coughs> man, I sound terrible today. <laughs> the entire festive menu, which is not very festive at all. It's even worse this year than it was last year. Pretty much the only thing that sounds festive is reindeer treats, and those are just carrots for a, a reindeer like that. A little Archie. It says, Merry Christmas from Archie. Archie the reindeer? There's not even an official reindeer. <gasps> Continue. <laughs> all right, so we'll get started with the the big tasty with bacon, which is categorically, look at that. What the heck have they done to it? it doesn't even look like a burger anymore. Right, let's, let, I don't even want to eat this burger. It looks terrible. <laughs> Ooh, what game have I got connects for? Merry Christmas. I can't believe they didn't have any of the uh, festive coffees too. It's like, if there's one time a year you need to get your coffee game right, Do it's they not Christmas. know it's Christmas? Festive fish finger. You could have at least ordered one thing from the festive menu. There's nothing festive about a fish finger. I'm not festive about that. A fair point, the big taste is not festive at all. There's just something about eating McDonald's when you're hungover. It's the only time. I actually enjoy McDonald's food. That and breakfast time, of course. This has um some kind of zesty... Has it, has it got the zesty relish on? I can yeah, see it. It has there. the zesty relish on there, which, if I recall, if it's the same one as last year, it does taste a bit Christmassy, a little bit. <laughs> it does have a slight kind of sweet spiciness to it which is reminiscent of, of kind of Christmassy flavors. So I kind of get this one. Ooh, Pokemon are coming soon. All right, the zesty chicken deluxe is done. Now these last year were very... Sorry. Last year were very delicious. What, what's 
just like the white speckled bits on it. Is that cheese? I don't actually know. I can't think of it. I don't really know what's festive about these, other than that most people eat more cheese than average at Christmas, I would say. I know. Under your tash. I I'm them. not getting it, it's disgusting. <laughs> Delish. Now these, I really don't want to eat. They're just like raw carrots. I suppose it's good, like, to encourage kids to eat carrots. Even like a six-year-old would understand this is all a ruse to get kids to eat more vegetables. Not that that's a bad thing. These aren't really helping the hangover much. My voice sounds like two octaves lower. Ooh. Right, well we're wrong. Get back onto the good stuff. Everyone eats Quality Street at Christmas. Everyone has matchmakers at Christmas, so it, it sounds like a match made in heaven. You see what I did there? I'm gonna get you some gingerbread matchmakers this year. The new out. It's not really. Um, it's not really ice cream weather. <laughs> oh, the sun. The sun is annoying. Well, that was yummy. That's done. On to KFC. I know KFC has some festive stuff. Hopefully, more festive than this stuff. Start the car. Then. <laughs> I wanted to start. <laughs> Actually, there's probably no need for a, a sexy B-roll sequence because KFC is like there. So we just skip that part. It's, it's called the festive burger box meal. Hi, can I get the festive burger box meal, please? Yeah, what side and drink? Um, what side and drink? Beans. Beans and Pepsi. Anything else? No, thank you. Round. Cheers. The beans aren't to drink, the beans are the side, just to clarify. Pepsi? What? Diet Pepsi? Oh, I'll just change. You trying it. to sabotage my physique? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <coughs> my, this is terrible, I sound awful. Show them the cute box. I'm, I'm showing the box, just relax. We've got to say hats off to KFC. I think they have dedicated the most in terms of marketing resources to Christmas this year. It's called the festive box meal. It has some festive decorations on it. Just hope it tastes good. I like the hat and I like the, the fist with Xmas tattooed on it. All right, so in here you get the festive fries. They've got some kind of festive seasoning on them or something. Oh, they're hot. Like hot, hot or spicy hot? No, hot, hot. Are you trying one? No, I don't like them. It's potato, babe. With skin on. You wouldn't eat a human with skin on, would you? <laughs> I don't think the skin would be the issue there, would it? <laughs> right, so these are these are the festive fries. There's nothing really particularly special about them. They don't they don't really taste that much different from the regular fries. To the point that I'm thinking these might be the regular fries, and maybe they ran out of the festive fries and they're just putting the regular ones in. They're in a nice box though, so we'll give them points for that. Mm. Maybe we should start doing food reviews. Mm. Right, next we got... That was not as seamless as I hoped. This is just a regular piece of chicken. Nothing festive about this. That looks nothing like a piece of chicken. I can't figure out what... Is this a wing or a... I don't know what it is. <laughs> Oh, it's a wing with a leg on it. All right, I made a, I've made a bit of a mess of this chicken wing. A bit of a mess? You chucking chicken all over? Can you stop overreacting? Again, that's not particularly festive. I'll do the beans next. <laughs> How are you going to eat these beans? Are you just going to empty them into I'm just going to drink them, yeah. 
I tell you, that's, that's an art form with a beard like this. Suck that bean. Meaning? I think beans are actually, from a nutritional standpoint, just some education, uh, almost a complete food. Plenty of carbs in there, plenty of protein, not much fat, so if you're on a bit of a diet, good food choice anyway none of that's been particularly festive but this is the festive burger which yeah I'll, I'll show them the box put your big pin head behind it the box is nice the burger looks very cool this here this is the money shot so this is the festive burger and this looks more like it that's got cranberry on cranberry sauce and it's got like a little bit of um, festive gravy stuff on it um, a hash brown in there and some some chicken. You really are mesmerised by the box, aren't you? I just think it's so cool. Like and so we've only been to two places so far, but are you ranking um, KFC's festive menu? KFC is winning this hands down so far. Wings down. Why do you move your head when you this wink? This is my wink. This is a, this, no, this is a wink. That's a wink. You go. What's wrong with you? It's a... That just looks like you're having a stroke. Stop. Oh, this is flipping, yummy. No! <laughs> it's a matter of time. How many of these festive box meals can you eat? There's the question. I get the feeling this might... It's pretty rich, so I think it might get a bit old quite quickly I when I go to KFC I prefer burgers to this you know the, the chicken, chicken on the bone stacked up with the hash browns and everything they always taste great you've got a little bit of sauce on your hand on right the top of your hand how about festive sub subway yeah I'm not sure what their festive menu looks like but they usually do one, so let's give it a shot. I know Burger King is not doing a festive menu this year. Boo! Bad humbug. Bad Burger King. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> bad Burger King. You bad, uh, bad people. I don't actually know if Subway's doing one, but we'll check because it's not too far away. Far enough away for a, a smooth, silky, sexy, cinematic thing in the middle, though. Okay. Start the car then, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for? My hangover's starting to dissipate quite quite rapidly now. I'm gonna make you disappear quite rapidly. I said dissipate, not drink. disappear. All right, give me a second. <laughs> Can't be it for me to laugh at my uh, my <laughs> infirm life partner here, but Lindsay fell down some stairs this week. <laughs> Don't worry, it's minor, <laughs> just a sprain, but she, she's on crutches <laughs> from now on. <laughs> Which, uh... Don't worry, I'll get the dog. <laughs> she's humorous for me. Well, they uh, they didn't take too kindly to us filming in there, but we got the stuff. It's quite conveniently hung on uh, Mrs. Beard's left crutch. Those things get out. They could come in handy, you never know. I could get used to this. All right, next we got Subway. Again, not a particularly festive sandwich menu. There's nothing festive about steak, if you ask me, but they do have festive cookies, so those could be a winner, but we'll do the sandwich first. <laughs> I, I quite like the uh, the marketing behind this though because it's supposed to be you know you always think about Subway as, as healthy but I've seen all these articles about this particular sandwich in newspapers and stuff saying it's the least healthy sub that Subway has ever done because it's on cheesy garlic bread <laughs> and it's full of steak and cheese it, it does it does look delicious though you gotta you gotta admit everyone loves a bit of garlic oh man can I just smell the bread another bread the bread. Oh. Good. These are like 1200 calories each. And I think it would be so easy to do 10 of these. These would be perfect for uh, those people that struggle with the 10,000 calorie challenge out there. Are you warm, darling? I'm not gonna be kissing you later with all that garlic. You love garlic. Right. There, there is nothing festive about this, but this is the, the tastiest thing I've had today. This is better than the KFC Christmas burger. 
and that was good. I just love how it's so soft and greasy. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I think it would have been delicious with some like hot turkey and cranberry, yeah. Maybe a little bit of brie instead of just regular mozzarella cheese. It's fantastic. Oh, out of 10. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Oh, well, an 8, so there's room for improvement. What would you give for KF KFC burger? Solid 7 out of 10. Okay, I would give it a 9 just for the box and the decorations. Well, actually, I didn't like... It's a bit loud. I didn't actually... I can't talk. I didn't actually expect that to be... As nice as it was. As good as it turned out to be. So I was kind of thinking that the cookies would be the highlight, but... Is that a festive bag that we see? It says, um, spread the... You just burped my head. Sorry. <laughs> it says spread the cookie cheer, so I guess they're kind of getting in the spirit. Right, what we got here? All right, this is the, this is the mince pie cookie. Go on, I know you want to say it. Put that cookie down! Put that cookie down, now! You got some work to do on your uh, on your honey impression. It tastes like mince pie. I don't know why I'm waiting for another comment. <laughs> Not much more you can say after it tastes like a mince pie. This feels a lot like an episode of the backseat blowout, which we kind of shelved for a while. We haven't done the one of those for a long time. No. We moved it into the front seat though. Front seat. Is the front seat blowout? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> this next one, this is the... It doesn't look like gingerbread, but it's the dark <laughs> chocolate and gingerbread cookie. Why has it got purple and green? I have no idea. Probably just rubbed off from another cookie. Does it taste gingery? Personally, you already know this about me. I love ginger biscuits. Mm. Gingerbread, I could eat it all day long. I don't normally like it when it's mixed with another flavour like chocolate, but this is actually pretty good. It smells gingery now. Speaking of gingerbread, this could be a spoiler alert, but my mate Jesse Pinnanen, who's a Finnish competitor, I don't know if you watch his channel, but his girlfriend just built him the most amazing gingerbread castle. Not house, castle. So she's not even part of his channel and she's doing stuff for him. So I mean, I'm just saying you got to pull your weight in this game, you know? And I've got a lot of weight to pull, so <laughs> imagine what I could build. <laughs> Right, the final cookie is something like, was it chocolate orange? Maybe, yeah. There's something about people in England, they just can't deal with people filming themselves. If this was a film set, they'd have no problem, right? But people just freak out. It's, I mean, admittedly, it's a big camera. I mean, it's not like doing anything dodgy, you're just eating a cookie. It's the same, whenever I walk around Leeds, which is my hometown, if I'm ever blogging, with this big camera, people just lose their minds. But it's totally different in America, culturally. I could walk around you any did. town in America, we, we have done all year, with a massive camera like this, nobody even bats and they don't even look at you, they're not even inquisitive. People are just inherently suspicious of people with cameras. Right, hats on. Yeah, actually, wait. I think the guy's coming to install broadband three minutes ago. <laughs> so I don't even got time for any more stuff. We'll see. Uh, this could be the end of the video. Maybe. You have to bear with us because we're between houses right now, so filming is really quite tough. I don't even know how I'm gonna upload this. I have to go to a Starbucks and hope nobody sees me uploading a massive video file. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it so far. If it's the end, tune in for the next video. I'm gonna film the day we move in, so I think there might even be a bonus video on Tuesday, if you're lucky. Mm.